in uh, MACDIP 401. Uh, the next part and the last part <laughs> is basically Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transforms. How do I use this in solving differential, so to solve differential equations? Uh, I will give you a very quick gist of it. Uh, so let us start with what is a Laplace transform. But before that, uh, by the way, I want to just warn you about one thing about Laplace transforms. Uh, even though it is somewhat similar to what you have seen earlier, this is quite different. This is for the first time you will be seeing a different kind of technique. So it is very natural that one gets scared of Laplace transforms. Means, let me be very frank. I had not understood Laplace transform when I studied it for the first time. It takes time. It's a lot of it is symbolic manipulation, at least from the examination point of view. At least, of course, there is very deep mathematics behind it. But obviously, there is no time, space, or uh, opportunity to discuss all the beautiful mathematics behind it. We are more focused for the examination and it will become, it is a sort of symbolic manipulation. So initially one gets a bit scared. I, in fact, I don't know anybody who has understood Laplace transform at one go. It will take time, keep coming back to it again and again. This is just, an, this is just a, my advice as a senior to you, as a teacher to you. So please, uh, uh, means at one go, you may not understand everything that is being told. You have to watch these lectures again and again solve many many problems in these sessions i have not managed to solve many many problems few uh, you know typical problems i have managed to solve and show you illustrate but you have to do on your own many many more problems from any standard textbook web resources are there to solve them that's the only way to become master of the plus transform uh, if you want more familiarity you have to solve a lot more problems that's the only way because mathematics behind it is very deep, so deep that we won't tell you in the first course. It's not possible. So it's more of a manipulation, symbolic manipulation. So understand that well uh, and be aware that I don't know anybody who has understood Laplace transform at the first go. It will take time. You have to keep coming to it, coming, going at it again and again. So let us start with this. Uh, but still, I would like to tell you uh, Laplace transform not just as a symbolic manipulation. I want to show you something common uh, with what you already know. So let us start with the most elementary thing which you know uh, in calculus which is differentiation. So differentiation, uh, try to understand this from this perspective which I am trying to tell you. Differentiation of functions can be thought of as an operator which means d of f of x is f dash x. This is the capital D of f of x. This is the standard notation which you may know. If you don't know, you better learn this now. So if, for example, if f of x is equal to x square, f dash x is 2x. So I will say D is an operator which will convert x square to 2x. Convert, I hope you understand. Means, For lack of better word, I'm using that. D will transform x square to 2x d will transform sin x to cos x d will transform some other function x cube plus cos x to 3x square minus sin x means basically derivatives i'm taking you take a give me a function d of that is another function so i must think of d as an operation on functions which gives rise to new functions. Of course, it need not be new. For example, if f of x is e power x, f dash x is also e power x. It's not new. That's okay. No problem. But it's still a function. You give me a function, d of that is also a function. Of course, differentiable functions. At least one's differentiable functions. So, d of a function is another function. That is how you must look at this capital D. Capital D is what you all always knew it as d by dx. Anyway, you use this kind of notation when you try to understand solution of uh, what is that? differential equations. 
linear differential equations first order capital d is a operator it operates on functions to give new functions that is the picture you must have this differentiation gives has some nice properties for example d of f of x plus g of x is d of f of x plus d of g of x that means if you give me two functions their sum is also a function and derivative of the sum is sum of the derivatives d of f of x plus g of x is d of f of x plus d of g of x here i don't care what is f what is g for all f for all g this is true similarly another very beautiful uh, property is d of a of f of x is a times d of f of x i can in some sense i can pull out this a i can pull it out and put it outside the whole function on which d is operating i can pull out constants a is a constant here it's not a variable it means you can't keep change with x a is a constant any constant i can pull it out these are two very simple things you have seen it from your first pc or whenever you have learned your differentiation d of a times f of x is a times d of f of x whenever these two properties are satisfied i don't i have not told you where else it happens but this is just the definition uh, these two properties are satisfied so i say d is a linear transformation i will not give you details and definition of it it just i want you to understand this new term linear transformation i'll call it linear i will call it differentiation i told you differentiation is a transformation it transforms function from one type to another type in addition to that it has this property that d of f plus g is df plus dg and d of a of f is a times d of f because it has these two properties i call d is a linear transformation i will not tell you why it is so but this is just the definition in general one can put both these together in this form this must be the form in which you have already seen before d of a times f plus b times g is a times d of f plus b times d of g so d has this property that on sum i can break it up on scalar multiplication i can pull out the scalar real number scalar means real number fancy term for real number so i can pull out the real number out i can pull the real number out i'm doing that both here twice uh, so this is the general form which guarantees that d is a linear operator means i call d a linear operator have i seen any one other than d which has the same property yes we have seen see integration may also be thought of as a transformation for example i of f of x is integral f of x for example if f of x is x square then i of f of x is x cubed by 3 we know integral of x square is x cubed by 3 so this also you know integral of sin x is minus cos x so you give me a function i operate i on that function i get a new function so i is also to be thought of as a transformation give me a function i will operate on that and give a new function so this continues uh, means uh, this is another transformation and this also ha has this property of it being linear means linear transformation it means uh, i of f of x plus g of x is i of f of x plus i of g of x we know this integral of sum of two functions is sum of integral of the functions similarly constant is there in the integral i can pull it out so together i can write it up like this so i is another linear transformation d is one linear transformation i is another linear transformation from where to where and all i am not telling too many details but it's basically i and d both what they do is it takes a function and gives another function and in the process it satisfies this property i of i if you can write either write i or d either of them you can write and in either case i'll say i or d is a linear transformation so this should be the motivation to understand linear laplace transform but of course there is still some problem i'll explain what it is a uh, laplace transform of real function is defined as follows i keep that keep these two in mind i will tell you where these two will play a role in understanding laplace transform Now let us go to definition of Laplace transform. 
what is a Laplace transform? Laplace transform definition is this. I'll start with the function ft. I want to define what is L of ft. See, previously I defined d of ft, derivative I knew. Similarly, i of ft I knew. Now I'm defining one more operator, L of ft. Definition is ugly. It looks bad to all of us. Why would anybody want to do this? But it has a lot of importance. So integral of e power minus st ft dt, integral limit from 0 to infinity. Note t is the variable here, ft dt. So dt means I am integrating with respect to t. Understand that uh, well. dt means t is the variable with which with respect to which I am integrating. So what is this s? s is some new variable which I have not told you anything about earlier. This is a standard sort of you know, who doing to tell t is time domain, s is frequency domain. How are they related? What it is? I won't tell you any of that. This is just a word normally used. These are just phrases, words which are used. Of course, they have meaning and they come do come from time domain and frequency domain, but I don't have time to tell that, they, uh, explain that. So right now, definition of L of f of t is you take this function e power i e power minus st multiplied by ft, whatever function is given, integrate with respect to t, and t is varying from zero to infinity. So what I will get on the right hand side is a function of s t vanishes from the right hand side because I will get some function, so something t square s t square plus t cube, but then t has to vary from zero to infinity. So I'll substitute value for t as infinity and then as zero. So t won't appear finally. Only thing which appears is s, means it's a function of s. So uh, that's what I have told here. Observe that f depends on t, whereas its Laplace transform depends on s. S is the domain on which, I mean, it's the uh, term, uh, it's the variable on which Laplace transform de depends. This is the point which makes a lot of students uncomfortable for the first time because they are seeing, see differentiation and integration. The difference is that differentiation and integration, you start with a function of x, answer is also a function of x. But here in Laplace transform, I start with a function of t, but I end up with a function of something else. I mean, where is the connection? It's like a different universe. So it may, uh, prevent a lot of students from understanding this, but just be with me, no problem. We will see more, we will understand this better gradually. So input is a function of t, whereas output is a function of s. This is what I'm trying to emphasize. L, ft is a function of t, whereas L of ft is a function of s. So normally to emphasize this, this is the notation used. L of ft is f of s. Note, small f has become capital F small f has become capital F and uh, t less than 0 it simply doesn't matter because I am integrating from t equal to 0 to infinity you see t is varying from 0 to infinity so it doesn't matter to me what if t is negative we don't have a definition for I mean we don't want to know what it is as far as definition of Laplace transform is concerned so these are few uh, remarks uh, more remarks of course, right now, you'll be wondering why is anybody trying to define such a thing? There is no clarity in the usefulness of this definition. But gradually, you will see that, uh, you know, this is a very powerful technique which came about 200 years ago, 150, 200 years ago by Laplace to solve differential equations. Very easy, it made, it made, see, normally to solve differential equations are difficult because, you know, after all, uh, it involves derivatives. Laplace transform is one technique which converted uh, differentiation problems, means problems with differentials to problems in algebra. They it converted to algebraic problems. I, I know it's a bit abstract right now. I will tell you in the last part of this lecture what that means. So basically it helped in solving differential equations. That's the purpose of Laplace transforms. But before we reach that, we have to understand a lot of manipulation of how to do how to do manipulation with functions and Laplace transforms. So I'll give you a few very elementary examples. Let us check. Ah, before I proceed, this is very important. 
there's no proof of it. I mean, proof is very easy, but I'll not bother about it. L is also a linear transformation. That means this is true, this last line. L of A of FT plus B of GT is A L F T plus B L G T. It's like instead of L, if you put capital D, I had D of A F T plus B G T is A D F T plus B B G T. Similarly, I also was a uh, linear transformation. Now, L is also such a linear transformation. Proof is very easy, direct from definition, but let's not bother about it. So, this is a very important thing. Laplace transform is linear, which means if I am asked to find Laplace transform of sum of two functions, all I have to do is to find Laplace transform of each function separately. And if I am asked to find Laplace transform of a constant times a function, all I need to do is find Laplace transform of the function multiplied by the same constant. So this is very basic like, like linearity of Laplace transforms. Now, I will not find, go about finding Laplace transform of various functions. For example, this, I told you this is the fun, uh, definition of Laplace transform. Now, I'll put ft equal to t. Then I have to write integral 0 to infinity e power minus st t. ft is t. So, how do I integrate t into e power minus st dt, t varying from 0 to infinity? You have to do by parts and figure out how to do it. But in this course, we are not interested in you finding the Laplace transform from first principles like that. What I will do instead is, I will give you Laplace transform of some of the functions. So here is the table of Laplace transforms. Here is the function. Let us not bother about this. Let us take this function e power a t. That means, remember, in this function, in this definition of Laplace transform, L of f p ft in ft's place i'll put e power at then it will become e power minus st into e power at dt i'll try to integrate this i won't tell you how did i integrate that's not part of your course but if you integrate you will get answer 1 by s minus a as i said this is a function of s only there is no t because t has been substituted at 0 and infinity similarly if the function is sin at then its Laplace transform is a by s square plus a square. That means if you put, if you try to find L of sin a t, that means if you integrate e power minus a t into sin a t, t from 0 to infinity dt. It's a very horrible expression. So let us not do that only. Um, it's not there in your syllabus. So be happy. Uh, but the answer you need to know, that is the tragedy. The answer is a by s square plus a square. This you must remember which is the worst part. If you can derive it, well and good, but it takes a lot more time. So you have to remember the table of Laplace transforms. Fortunately, you don't have too many functions. There are some standard functions. Uh, for example, if function is one, constant function one, then its Laplace transform is one by S. If the function is e power at, its Laplace transform is one by S minus A. If function is sine at, its Laplace transform is A by S squared plus A squared. If function is cos at, its Laplace transform is s by s square plus a square. If function is sine hyperbolic a t, then its Laplace transform is a by s square minus a square. I hope you are, know what sine of h a t, sine hyperbolic a t means. If you know, well and good. If you don't know, wait. I will explain in the, uh, hopefully I'll explain in the examples part. Cos hyperbolic a t, its Laplace transform is s by s square minus a square t power n where n is an integer that means i have t power 3 t power 5 t power minus 6 t power minus 100 anything it can be <laughs> its laplace transform is n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1 this last one is there in your syllabus mm. yeah they could ask you some questions on this in t power p where p is greater than minus 1 it need not be integer it can be real number also for example p could be half so t power half see this does not cover uh, n when power is not an integer this covers when power is not an integer also t power half that is root t what are the laplace transform of it it is gamma function gamma p plus 1 divided by s to the power of p plus 1 where gamma is uh, uh, stands for gamma function i won't tell you what is gamma function you must have learned it in one of your mad dip 301 or 201 or somewhere so this keep in mind it could come but normally it is not expected people are not expected to ask questions on this in the first course but these are important this is very much part of your syllabus particularly you will need 
from all this except for this uh, t power p you will regularly need in evaluating various uh, laplace transform of various functions so let us look uh, so recall what is important in this uh, slide is you must rat up mug up each of these laplace transforms laplace transform of 1 is 1 bias laplace transform of e power a is 1 bias minus a laplace transform of sin a is a by a square plus a square laplace transform of cos a is s by a square plus a square you see the symmetry the very similar sin a t cos a t and then sin hyperbolic a t a by a square minus a square that's very similar cos hyperbolic a t s by a square minus a square so if you remember one the other should follow means follow means they are very similar so if you solve couple of problems they will become yours and this is look suddenly different so plus and so of t power n where n is an integer is n factorial divided by s power n plus 1 so and t power p where p is greater than minus 1 if p is less than minus 1 then the story is different so i'll not bother about it so t power p when p is greater than minus 1 is gamma p plus 1 divided by s to the power of p plus 1 uh, so this you must know very well the table of laplace transforms this these many functions eight functions are given at least seven of these you must know very well otherwise you can't solve any problem in laplace transforms so let us uh, in what follows we find laplace transform of various functions using linearity of laplace and the table of laplace transforms that's what i have been telling you so let us try to see this horrible function 1 plus 3t square minus 5 e to the power of 2t plus 2 e to the power of minus 10t this is a function of t i want to find its laplace transform how do i do this this means this is not part of table no table doesn't tell me how to compute laplace transform of 1 plus 3t square it doesn't tell me see, the table does, does, just tells me about t square it tells one it tells but does it tell me about 1 plus t square it doesn't tell me but for that i will use linearity of laplace transform that means laplace transform of the sum is sum of the laplace transforms that means laplace transform of 1 plus 3 t square minus 5 e power 2 t etc etc is laplace of this plus laplace of this plus laplace of this plus laplace of this or laplace of this plus laplace of this minus laplace of this plus laplace of this i have written that here laplace of 1 plus laplace of 3 t square minus laplace of 5 e power 2 t plus laplace of 2 e power minus 10 t now what do i do Oh, I know Laplace of 1, but I don't know Laplace of 3t square. I know Laplace of t square. Oh, that doesn't matter. I can pull out the constant. So that's part of linearity property. So when I pull out, I'll get 3lt square. Here, if I pull out 5, I'll get 5 l e power 2t. If I pull out 2, I'll get 2 l e power minus 10t. So now each of these I know. Why? Because Laplace of 1 is 1 by s. Laplace of t power n is n factorial by s to the power of n plus 1 when n is an integer. So t square, I'll get 2 factorial by s cube. And Laplace of e power 2t, that uh, Laplace table of Laplace transforms tell me that. That Laplace of e power a t is 1 by s minus a. Here it is. Laplace of e power a t is 1 by s minus a, which means Laplace of e power 2t is 1 by s minus 2. But 5 is outside, but I'll treat n as it is. Similarly, Laplace of e power minus 10t is 1 by s minus minus 10, which is same as s plus 10. So this looks pretty ugly. 1 by s plus 3 to 2 factorial is 6 by s cube minus 5 by s minus 2 plus 2 into s plus 10. Nothing I can do. I just leave it as it is. Means you can't try to simplify this. You don't have to. You don't have to take an LCM of all this and don't expect. Laplace transform problems don't expect the final answer to be very nice and cute. It will not be. Mostly it will be ugly like this. Leave it like that. There's nothing else you can do. So look, because this function itself is an ugly function. 1 plus 3 t square minus 5 e power 2 t plus 2 e power minus 10 t. It's a bad I mean, Doesn't look nice. It's Laplace is I'm taking term wise Laplace. That's the point take home from this slide. Each term I'll do it separately. I'll pull out the constants and whatever remains, I will use the table of Laplace transforms to find Laplace of the full sum. I hope it's clear. One more problem. Find Laplace transform of 5 power t minus 3 cos 2t plus 4 sine hyperbolic 2, 3t 
So use again linearity and Laplace transform of standard functions from a table from the table. So this is L of phi power t. This is Laplace transform of each term. Laplace of phi power t minus three times Laplace of cos two t. Right in the beginning, I've taken three out, and then I'll take out four also. So four line sine hyperbolic three t. Now this phi power t. You try to recall how you would uh, integrate phi power t. How do you integrate phi power t if it is given? You'll put phi power t equal to y and take log and e power all those things you do same thing you do here we know if you don't know this please learn this now phi power t is same as e to the power of t log phi log means log to base e this is so it should be ln actually but i written log uh, phi power t is same as e power t log phi uh, i won't give a proof this is basically notation this is what definition of log means uh, uh, log and e and other things. So this is what you must have used while differentiating or integrating the function phi power t. Same technique I have to use. Phi power t is same as e power t log 5. If it is 10 power t, it will be e power t log 10. If it is 100 power t, it will be e to the power of t log 100. Whatever. x power t, x, uh, not x, some constant term. Uh, a power t means e power t log a. So I use this and other two I write it as it is. Now, how do I find L of cos 2t that I have a table, I have a table for this e power something, e power a t, a is a constant means log 5 is constant. So I can look at it as e power constant times t. So that I know from table of from Laplace transform. Laplace transform of e power a t is 1 by s minus a. Here a happens to be log 5. So it is 1 by s minus log 5. And minus 3 I write as it is. Log, uh, Laplace of cos 2t is nothing but s by s square plus 2 square. Because Laplace of cos a t is s by s square plus a square. So here a is 2. So I get s square plus 4. 2 square which is 4. Similarly, Laplace of sine hyperbolic of 3t is 3 by s square minus 3 square. So s square minus 9. Don't try to simplify this. Just leave it as it is. This is correct. You'll get full marks for this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a post. Laplace, finding Laplace transform is all about for your examination trying to manipulate. It's a symbolic manipulation. I'm given this. I'll convert it to this. I'll, basically, I'll convert each of these terms into something which is there in the Lapla table of Laplace transforms. So all your skills must be how to convert a given function into what is given in the table of Laplace transform. So that is what this story is. From now on, the game is about reducing the given function to one of the elementary functions whose Laplace transform is known. Below is a list of such tricks, some of which you may have, you must have already used while integrating. Yeah, well, when you integrate, if you're uh, done integration before, many of these tricks actually follow that. It's like how you would integrate is how you would find Laplace transform. And if you have left off integration earlier, now you will be in trouble. So please go back home, open up your old textbook in which you learned integration and go through all the uh, techniques of integration. It will help you. So let us try to find if the function has cos hyperbolic square or sine hyperbolic cube Use the definition of cos hyperbolic, sine hyperbolic to rewrite the function in terms of the exponential function. I know it's a bit abstract. Let me give you an example. So find Laplace transform of 3 cos hyperbolic square phi t. You see, I don't know uh, uh, what is the Laplace transform. To find this, I'll first pull out 3. So L of 3 cos hyperbolic square phi t is 3 times L of cos hyperbolic square phi t. But I don't know how to find Laplace of cos hyperbolic square 5t. I know how to find Laplace of cos hyperbolic 5t. But I don't know how to find of square. So Laplace of f into g is not Laplace of f into Laplace of g. It's like differentiation. Leibniz rule is there. It's like that. So you can't just write the product. How do I do this then? I will tell you. For that, you must first understand what is cos hyperbolic 5t. By definition, cos hyperbolic 5t is 
e power 5t plus e power minus 5t by 2. Don't ask me where did this come from. This is the definition of cos hyperbolic function. In fact, cos hyperbolic x is e power x plus e power minus x by 2. That's the definition. I have not told you here because you are supposed to have learned it earlier. But if you are very unlikely, you will have remembered that. So I am recalling. What is the definition of cos of 80 is e power 80 plus e power minus 80 by 2. That's the definition of uh, uh, cos hyperbolic 80. So now what do I do with this? Let us check. So if this is the case, what is its square? Its square means this whole thing square. Cos hyperbolic 5t is e power 5t plus e power minus 5t by 2. So cos hyperbolic square 5t is e power 5t plus e power minus 5t by 2 whole square. In that Denominator square I write as it is 4, 2 square and numerator square. Numerator square means e power 5t plus e power minus 5t whole square. So that means a plus b whole square, a square plus 2ab plus b square. a square is e power 5t whole square is e power 10t and 2ab, 2 into e power 5t into e power minus 5t is just 2 and then e power minus 5t whole square will be e power minus 5t, 5 into 2 which is 10t. So this is what I get. Cos hyperbolic square 5t is e power 10t plus 2 minus e power, sorry, plus e power minus 10t by 4. Uh, this I can rewrite separately as three terms. e power 10t by 4 plus 2 by 4 is half I have written in the end. And then this term e power minus 10t by 4, I have written it as 1 by 4 e power minus 10t. Now, if I want Laplace of this, which is same as Laplace of this, then I use linearity and take Laplace of this whole thing is Laplace of this plus Laplace of this plus Laplace of this. Laplace of this means I can take out 1 by 4 and I'll get Laplace, I'll get Laplace of e power 10t. Similarly, Laplace of this is I'll take out L of 1 by 4 e power minus 10t is 1 by 4 into Laplace of e power minus 10t. That's what I have written here. And Laplace of half, I'll write it as half into Laplace of 1. Uh, okay, I don't have to write, but anyway, I have written it. Uh, so maybe I have not written so many details here, but I told you orally, you understand that. 1 by 4, Laplace of e power 10t is 1 by s minus 10. I mean, e power 8 is Laplace is 1 by s minus 8. So s minus 10. And similarly, Laplace of e power minus 10t is 1 by s plus 10 and uh, if I take half out I'll get L of 1 L of 1 is 1 by s and half is outside so half 1 by s which means 1 by 2 s so this is the Laplace transform of this function understand what did I do you give me this function in cos hyperbolic square I will try to write I will use the definition of cos hyperbolic at and square it which will end up, which will give me terms of the time e power 80 into some constant and of course a constant itself. That's what I get in the expansion. So Laplace of this whole thing is Laplace of, sum of Laplace of each of these things. Each one I can find from the table of Laplace transforms. So once I find it from table of Laplace transforms, I substitute for each one of them, I get this answer. As I said, answer need not be very nice and cute, but that doesn't matter. That's not the purpose of Laplace transforms. So this I told you in general here. This is the abstract part. Even if it is sine hyperbolic cube, also it's the same thing. Only thing is you should know the definition. Definition of sine hyperbolic AT is sine A, uh, e power AT minus e power minus 80 by 2. This plus becomes minus, that's all. Test all will be same. That is the definition of sine hyperbolic 80. So even in that case, you do a similar thing. You square this and, you know, again, you'll get terms only in terms of e power 80. Whatever constant is there, I can take it out. Same manipulation. How you would integrate, this is how you would do. Uh, so, what I have told here is if it is of the form cos hyperbolic square or cos hyperbolic cube or sine hyperbolic square or sine hyperbolic t, then 
you use the definition of cos hyperbolic or, or sin hyperbolic and rewrite the function in terms of exponential function. That is what I have done here. I rewritten this function in terms of exponential functions. Uh, here, this is what it is. So that constant into exponential function, constant into exponential function, constant into, okay, here there is no exponential function, like it's that much simpler. So now Laplace of this is sum of Laplace of each of this, each of this I can find from the table. So same trick everywhere, whether it is cos hyperbolic square or sin hyperbolic square or cos hyperbolic cube is very interesting Then a plus b whole cube is what you will get. So the, for that you must know formula a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. That's what you have to use. Uh, maybe it's there in the exercises, you should check that. Uh, so this is done. So now what if function has cos square or a sin square? How do I do it? That means I want to find Laplace of cos square at. How do I do it? Exactly how do you integrate? How will you integrate cos square at? Do you recall? If you do recall, then it's the same technique. If you don't recall, understand the technique. It's a very important technique. In this case, if it is cos square at, I use this identity. Cos 2t is 2 cos square t minus 1 which is same as 1 minus 2 sin square t and rewrite the function in terms of cos 2t. So cos 2t, uh, cos square t is 1 plus cos 2t divided by 2. So then Laplace of cos square is Laplace of uh, half, half I can take out. So it will be just Laplace of cos 2t plus Laplace of 1. Laplace of cos 2t I know, Laplace of 1 I know, then I know Laplace of cos square t. Similarly for sin square, I know it's a bit fast and abstract. Let me show you with an example. Here it is. Find Laplace transform of sin square 70. So it is not, this is not uh, what it is not. I want to find Laplace of sin square 70. I cannot say I'll find Laplace of sin 70 from table and multiply it twice. No, it doesn't work like that. So product of Laplace transform is not Laplace of product. Laplace of product of functions is not product of Laplace of the functions. Like L of f into g is not Lf into Lg. How derivative of f into g is not derivative of f into derivative g. We have a Leibniz rule. Similarly, here also there will be a rule, but I won't tell you what the rule is. We don't need that. But instead of that, I will tell you how to evaluate such things. But you can definitely not just find Laplace of sin 70 and multiply it by itself. It will not give you Laplace of sin square 70. But how to find Laplace of sin square 70? I'm telling you. We know cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x. This is a standard formula, very important formula. You must know this. If you don't know this, you will not be able to solve most of the Laplace transform problems. This cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x is very important. So here for in the place of x, I'll put 70. So that means sin square x is 1 by 2, uh, 1 minus cos 2x. So in place of x, if I put 70, I'll get sin square 70 is 1 minus cos 14t by 2. How did I get this? From this, you solve for sin square x. Sin square x is 1 minus cos 2x by 2. So 1 minus cos 2 into 70 by 2. So 1 minus cos 14t by 2. That's what I get. Sin square 70. Uh, so this means half minus cos 14t by 2. So I just separated out into two terms. Half minus cos 14t by 2. So... <clears throat> So Laplace of sine square of 70 is Laplace of this full function, which means Laplace of this minus Laplace of this by linearity of Laplace. So Laplace of half minus Laplace of cos 14t by 2. Very easy. Laplace of half means half into Laplace of 1 minus half into Laplace of cos 14t. Now I know Laplace of cos 14t from the table. So I use that. Laplace of 1 also I know from table it is 1 by s. So 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus 1 by 2 into 14 plus s square plus 14 square. So it does look beautiful as I told you. Final answer may not be beautiful but it's nevertheless an answer. So this is Laplace of sine square 70. This is how you find for sine square. 
even if it is cos square, you have to use the same formula. Try to understand this. If it is cos square t, you use this formula. Cos 2t is 2 cos square t minus 1. So cos square t is 1 plus cos 2t by 2. So you have to use such formula for sine square and cos square. I know I have not written down an example of it right now, but it will show up later. Uh, similarly, one wants to talk about how to find Laplace transform of product of sines and causes. Uh, in this problem, you just found product of two sines, sine 70 into sine 70. Here I will have to find sine 80 into sine bt. How do I find Laplace of product of these two? So for that, you should remember these three formulae. There is no option. You must mug it up. These three formula are very important. You must have left it during your integration saying that oh, it is very difficult. I will not do it. But now it will come. You have to remember this in Laplace transform. Sin 80 into sin bt is half cos of a minus b times t minus cos of a plus bt. These three formula you must remember. You must even if I wake you up at night, 12 o'clock and ask you, you should be able to tell immediately. These three are very important formula. All these trigonometric identities are very important, which you have left out in the past. You better learn all these things if you want to get marks in your Laplace transform. And it will be useful because even in future, you will need this. So don't drop them this in this course. Uh, let me give an example how to use this. So take an example. Laplace transform of sine 70 into sine 5t. How to do it? As I said, you can't find Laplace of sine 70 and Laplace of sine 50 and multiply them. It won't work. That is not how Laplace transforms behave. So, so I'll use this formula. Sine 80 into sine bt is cos of a minus bt minus cos of a plus bt whole by 2. So sine a is 7 here and b is 5. So I'll substitute that Laplace of sine 70 into sine 50 is Laplace of cos a minus b, 70 minus 5t is 2t minus cos of a plus b, 70 plus 5t which is 20, whole thing by 2. So this means, no, this is easy, this I know how to find, Laplace of, I pull out the constant, so half of Laplace of cos 2t minus cos 20. This I know by table, this is nothing but half. Laplace of cos 2t is 2 by a square plus 2 square. Laplace of cos 20 is uh, 12 by a square plus 12 square. This is a standard formula. The plus of uh, cos a t is a by a square plus a square. That's all I have used here. So using that, I have computed Laplace of sine 70 into sine 5t. This is how you would integrate also. If you wanted to integrate sine 5t into sine 70, this is precisely how you would do it. You call it i here and i here. I of cos 2t, you know, you will write I of cos 20 is easy to find. So you will do that. So remember here for us, sign of this can be any number. I can do it. But if it is sign into sign, it is difficult to do. Difficult means you have to use this formula. So sine square, sine cube x is a very difficult function to find Laplace transform. But sine of 1000 x, it's not difficult at all. Like integration, same thing here. Uh, so, in general, uh, sin 80 into sin bt, same formula, I am just repeating. You may have to use this repeatedly. How, what does that mean? This is a uh, eternal favorite with uh, VTU examiners. So, find Laplace transform of sin t into sin 2t into sin 3t. Now, there are three things. How do I do? Uh, don't worry, it's very easy. You first take only two of these, keep it as it is, sin t into sin 2t into sin 3t is sin t I'll keep it sin 2t into sin 3t is cos of 2t minus 3t minus cos of 2t plus 3t so that's what this is that's the function you see sin 80 into sin bt is half cos of a minus bt minus cos of a plus bt so cos of 2t minus 3t minus cos of 2t plus 3t I have written here half sin t I have written as it is so let's try to evaluate this. This means half of sine t, cos, see, I'll expand this. Cos of minus t is same as cos t, so it doesn't matter. So sine t into cos t, half, I'll take it out. Sine t into cos t minus sine t into cos phi t. Now I have two different terms. Now for each of these, I will apply this formula. See, this formula is there. 
sin a t cos b t is this formula half sin a plus b t plus half sin a minus b t. I know it's a horrible formula, but you have to remember this. Sin t cos t is sin of a plus b t plus t plus sin of t minus t zero t. And here minus sin t plus five t six t minus sin of t minus five t minus four t. So this is what you get. You simplify this. Sin two t zero t is zero anyway, so it go, goes away. Minus sin sixty. Sin of minus something is minus of sin. So sin of minus four t is minus sin four t. Minus minus gets cancelled, so you get plus sin four t. Now what we have done here is, if I want to find, uh, I want to write this in terms of standard functions. Standard functions are sums of sin a t, sin b t, sin c t. So this is what it is. Now, if I want to find Laplace of this, which is same as Laplace of this, I know I can pull out one by four and write sine Laplace of this plus Laplace of this plus Laplace of this. I am doing that. Laplace of sine t, sine two t, sine three t is Laplace of one by four, whatever I have written. So you take out one by four, you get Laplace of sine two t minus Laplace of sine six t plus Laplace of sine four t. Each one I know s uh, a, a by a square plus a square. I have done that here. So as I said, final formula may not look very nice. Uh, so these things have to be used repeatedly. For example, somebody could ask you cos t, cos 2t, cos 3t. Then you have to use cos 2t, cos 3t first and then multiply by cos t. You get cos t into something, 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 something. So same technique you have to keep using. Uh, let me do this one more thing and then I'll stop maybe for this lecture. If the function has sine cube at or cos cube at, this is this is the identity. You must know this identity. Or sine cube at is one by four sine three sine at minus sine three at. Similarly, cos cube at is one by four three cos at plus cos three at. The advantage of this is here there is cube. Here there is no cube anywhere. This is sine at and sine three at. These Laplace transform of these functions are easy to find. Laplace function of transform of this is difficult to find. But because this is equal to this, Laplace transform of this is equal to Laplace transform of this. So Laplace transform of this and this use linearity of Laplace transform, break it up, and Laplace transform of this is three by four Laplace transform of sine eighty minus one by four Laplace transform of sine three eighty. Both I know Laplace of sin 80 i know the plus of sin 380 i know substitute that these are the standard uh, ways of solving finding laplace transform of easy elementary functions what to do next i will tell you in the next class so for time being i will uh, take a break